many, many of you recommended I try this. So I did, and it looks, it looks amazing. Buenos dias, amigos. Barely made it across <laughs> pen. It was hard, it was sweaty, but it was worth it. Because now, I get to eat tacos. I'm gonna have a smoothie with spinach. Today's episode, much like most of our episodes, is gonna be all about food. food. We're gonna take you to get some breakfast tacos here in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Some people call it Tuesday, we call it Foods Day. <laughs> And then uh, we're gonna go home, get to work, and then we're gonna take you to a restaurant that we've never been to this evening. Vamos! Ooh. If you happen to be new around here, I'm Greg. This is La Abuela. <laughs> <I'm> La Abuela. <laughs> and uh, we create daily videos about our life here in Vallarta. And uh, if you like Mexico, if you like traveling, or if, if you, you like, like bugs trying to fly in my mouth, <laughs> or learning from our mistakes, consider subscribing. You're in the right place. Here are three carnitas tacos. After we did our last uh, taco uh, taco video where we did uh, Al Pastor, many people suggested we try a few different tacos. Carnitas was on there. I think I've had these once before, possibly actually from this stand. I'll give them a shot, see how they are. I'll get all the information for how much they cost and where it's at. We'll link that in a blog post below. First impression, these are excellent. I put some sauce on here. I was afraid it was gonna be too spicy, so I didn't put too much. Go on, add some more salsa, put a little salt on this meat. These are delicious. Well, the only bad thing about these is that I'm eating them so fast that it's uh, not lasting very long. Even that stand, but 52 pesos for three tacos and, and the Coke Light. So I know uh, a lot of you have had some pretty authentic stuff before. Let me know how those prices compare. Those tacos were delicious. From what I understand here, it seems I've seen carnitas on more uh, during breakfast and lunchtime. If you've never had them before, it's kind of like slow to me. It tastes, someone comment below, give me a, give us a better description. To me it's like slow roasted, uh, slow roasted pork basically. It's a real tender, very juicy, chopped up like, it's like almost like brisket to me except without the barbecue sauce. Now I'm actually, I'm not hungry, but there's another taco stand right here that I've got to try since it's so close. I'm at my second spot for breakfast this morning. Probably gonna regret this. This is half a block down from the place I just went to. I will link all the information down below. I'm not sure what kind of tacos they have here. I think they have birria tacos and maybe something else. So I'm gonna try whatever they have and uh, give you a few shots of the food, a few shots of the place. This family actually owns our favorite taco stand that's uh, about four blocks up the road, Las Puertas, uh, fitting name for us. But uh, that's our favorite taco stand. They run that in the evenings from 7.30 to like two, and they run this in the morning. So it's a busy, busy family, it's working hard. them in some, uh, some kind of sauce it looks delicious give me some jalapeno salsa I don't know if I can try that we'll give it a we'll give it a, a little bit of light touch but I can't do spicy all right well I tried a little bit new it, it had some good kick to it but I think it would give it some good flavor we'll uh, we'll see well I inhaled that one in all of about four bites that was amazing I thought the carnitas had just had was good but that was, that was good the combination of the meat being extremely tender the jalapeno salsa, the onions, the red uh, kind of sauce he bathed it in. That was amazing. If I wasn't so full already, I might get another. Oh, I'm a complete button. But I got another, I got another taco to this. Well, it was gonna be kind of a small taco breakfast turned into seven tacos. <sighs> I can barely talk. I think uh, I ate all of those way too fast, but they were all delicious. All of them were good. In my opinion, I kind of preferred the tacos de res and the tacos uh, de puerco. Uh, over the carnitas. I think it was really the red sauce he put on there gave it a lot more flavor versus the carnitas. Tasted a little bit more dry. I kind of had to uh, put more sauce on it myself. 
and the jalapeno salsa at this last place was, uh, I thought, was delicious and I'm not even a huge salsa person. If you come to Puerto Vallarta, you definitely need to check out those two, those two taco stands. If you've had them before or uh, if you're a big, uh, big taco person, let me know how those look to you. The last place cost 42 pesos for those three. So I think that comes out to about 12, uh, 12 pesos a taco. So pretty reasonable in my opinion because it was a lot of meat. So it's not like they were small tacos. Now we're gonna walk home, get back to work. When we see you again, believe it or not, we're gonna be eating. Day, not even close, but it's raining. <laughs> it never rains in the middle of the day it really here. Doesn't. Or I've never really seen it rain in the middle of the day here. Wow. So lots of people ask us like, "What's rainy season like here?" And I always say, "Oh, it's fine. Like, real rain. It won't be until the evening." So I hope I didn't mess up anybody's plans. It's raining like thick, big old fat rain. It's coming down. Some people out walking. What the heck? How do you feel about your upcoming presidential race? You know, I uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm working on an agenda. <laughs> One of you coined the term hashtag Wera. <laughs> I can't remember, but it was like Wera for president. Wera 2020. I don't know, but I, with it. I'm confused though because I've said 2020, but other people have said 2018. So I don't know if they mean Mexican president in oh, 2018. See. See. So comment below and let us uh I'm gonna have to practice know. a bit more Spanish. <laughs> While we're in our intermission, it's a good reminder that we're gonna do another uh subscribe subscriber subscriber question and answer again soon. We're gonna have you tweet us your questions using the hashtag ask the Kennens. I'll put that up there. Ask the Kennens. Tweet us your questions and we will uh, we'll do that soon. We are at Kinetic Kennens on Twitter and it's hashtag ask the Kennens. And maybe in the next week or so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll answer as many of your questions as we can. Back to work. Hey, the work day is over. We made Woo! it. We survived the rainstorm Thank as well. Goodness. The tacos have have worn themselves off from this morning and now it is time one of us is really hungry we're i'm we're both hungry you're no. not hungry no you're not hungry i'm really i'm hashtag really hungry we're going to a uh, mexican restaurant that we've never been to before i'm just not sure which one are we we've had quite a bit of mexican food lately if i don't know if you can tell uh tacos this morning we did the taco video the other day maybe tomorrow we're gonna have to show you uh we're gonna have to show you some like good Italian food here. We're gonna Ooh. we're gonna have to take a short break from uh, Mexican food tomorrow. Or I know just that. Food. No, we can't take a break from food. I mean, food here because it's Mexico, so they just call Mexican food food. Oh, no. Entiendo. We're gonna walk to the restaurant. We'll give you some views along the way, and we will see you there. Gabby's restaurant. We believe it or not, we have never been here before, but we're excited about it. Many, many of you recommended I try this, so I did, and it looks, it looks amazing. We got a side of bread, we got some veggies on the side. Hillary? Oh my gosh, this is so good. What did you get? Chimichanga. It looks amazing. I can't wait to eat half of it. First off, to the food. It is so good. What have you tried, the rice? What no, I've demolished this half. Demolished, you've had three bites. Yeah, you're right. 
Comment below and let us know. I don't think there's very many chimichangas here. I've never seen I thought it was Tex-Mex. Chimichangas? Tex -Mex. chimichangas? I think it's chimichangas. Chimichangas? Maybe it's more of a northern Mexico thing. The locals thing. call it chimichangas. I think me, I think Luis, we have, uh, we've talked about this before. Uh, but yeah, let us know, because I don't, I've never seen them sold any other place Because if they're here. sold in North Mexico, that's where we're going. <laughs> Well, I pretty much demolished mine. It was good. It was a lot of food. It was I've never had that before. Thank you all for the recommendations. We ate it all except for the stem and the stem of like garnish. Yeah, I, it's it's gone. Thank you for those recommendations. I gotta find another place here that has that because it was amazing. How was yours, so? Mine was really good. I can't do it. Yeah, I feel like you ate quite a bit, even though there's still a lot of food left. It was a big plate of food. Yeah, it's like my lover's song. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. You are. Can you turn that off so I can dance? Ugh. Gabby's was really, <laughs> really good. Uh, it, no, it really. <laughs> it really was though. <laughs> I mean it. We both got a somewhat different dish than we've had before, and I think that made it um, something different. Mm -hmm. And uh, the place was very different. It was like I told you, air conditioned. just like really nicely decorated and I think it's really a festive. date night spot. Yeah. So uh, we really like to go to Basilio on Basilio. Hmm. I think this place is, is reasonably priced around that range, around 150 to 200. So around nine to 12 dollars or so. Um, so it's a perfect date night spot if you're looking for something a little bit nicer. Yeah, I think this is the kind of place we would definitely bring some guests to as well. Yeah. Because it's festive, it's great food, good service, the has food, AC. The food was good though, don't be fooled. It's not, it's not yeah. a, it was worth it. It was. Really. That is all we have for you today. I'm gonna link all the information about Gabby's and how much it costs and everything in a blog post below. Um, that was a day full of food. I'm hungry. I think tomorrow's episode needs to be all about the gym. Thanks so much for checking in. I think, uh, like I said, we're gonna have to take a day or at least a day or two break off the Mexican food, believe it or not. Because I'm about to look like a chimichanga. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell that way get notified. Every time. We upload a new video and we will see you mañana, amigos. Adios. Bye-bye.